Hey guys, welcome back to TJF Football. Thank God it's fantasy football and thank God for this week. This is my absolute favorite week in all of fantasy football and it's because it's your last opportunity to sneak in one more draft. This is the time to be doing your drafts when you think about it. You know who got cut, who got signed, who got re-signed, who got extended, who falls where on the depth chart, who knows the scheme, who the offensive coordinator's like, who's got lousy defenses. Now's the time to be doing your drafts. So we're going to start today with our draft day steals, and these are guys who are going to outperform their current ADP. So we'll start right now with Kenny Galladay at wide receiver 32. And I know what you're thinking. Galladay didn't play football last year. The guy had a sore hip. So we're going to drop him 20 spots in the rankings because of that? I'm sure not. I think Galladay is an awesome wide receiver too, with upside. The guy was Mr. Contested Catch, and that's exactly what Daniel Jones likes to do. He looks at the other team's jersey and throws it up. Kenny Galladay comes down with all of those balls. The Giants opened up their pocket before, and they expect him to live up to the hype. Kadarius Toney, super overdrafted. He's a gadget guy at best, and he's been injured. Evan Ingram, he's already out. Saquon, he's coming back from an injury. We don't really know what to expect. And somebody has to catch the ball for the Giants. And in the 8th round, go get Kenny Galladay. In the ninth round, you can get Kenyon Drake. And I know what you're thinking. Isn't he behind Josh Jacobs? But I think he's more or less beside Josh Jacobs with the opportunity to... overtake him here. Josh Jacobs continues to underperform and Gruden refuses to let him catch the ball. And Kenyon Drake, he's got nice hands, man. I mean, insert Kenyon Drake in his two-year $14.5 million contract, making him the ninth highest paid running back. Man, oh man. Like I said, Drake finished as an RB14 last year and he's getting top 10 money. He's going to be, he's going to be relevant. Corey Davis, wide receiver 43 this year. If I've spending a 10th round pick and I can get a number one wide receiver for a team with a lousy defense I'm jumping all over that opportunity the chemistry with Zach Wilson right now is fantastic he's been peppering him in practice been peppering him in the preseason he's finally starting to play like that number five overall pick he was drafted to be out of western Michigan he's got incredible footwork and he flies I mean last season he finished with 14 games he finished in wide receiver 31 And that was sharing the ball with Derrick Henry, who was running back two, and A.J. Brown at wide receiver 11. Corey Davis is a steal in the 10th round. Now, you can also get Michael Gallup at wide receiver 52. Last season, he finished at 38, and that was without a healthy Dak. Dak was on pace to throw for over 5,000 yards. This offseason, Michael Gallup is being moved into the slot, outside. He's going to be rushing the ball a little bit. He's a huge body, and he's I honestly see him as like a Des Bryant clone. If you can be getting a Des Bryant clone, we'll say young Des, at wide receiver 52, you have to jump at that opportunity. You can also get Marquise Brown in the same same round here in the 12th round. This year, he's projected to be wide receiver 49, and I just don't see it. Last season, he finished at wide receiver 32, and he wasn't healthy. This year, there's no J.K. Dobbins, and him and Lamar at the end of last season, they were clicking, man. He had six plus receptions in five of six of the last games, and he had six touchdowns in that spot too. Um, So what did they do? They drafted a wide receiver, and Rashad Bateman's hurt. Go get Marquise Brown. Lastly on our list, in the 14th round, you can get wide receiver 56, Curtis Samuel. This is a no-brainer. Last season, he finished as wide receiver 25, and now he's getting the ball from Fitzpatrick. What? I mean, Curtis Samuel last last year missed a game and left early in another two, so he's got to stay healthy, but he finished at wide receiver 25. Last season, he had 40 rushing attempts and A-plus receptions in six games. This is the steal of the entire draft. Go get these guys. Prioritize Curtis Samuel.